Welcome to Famous Fortunes, I hope you are well. Welcome back to the show. We're going to do a little bit of uh, reading into today's topic, which is that apparently William said no about meeting Harry, and we're going to dive into this today. It's being reported that Harry will catch up with King Charles. That's not something we've seen on the cards, but fair enough. We'll, 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 we will look into that again if we need to today. But uh, William, the Prince of Wales, has reportedly snubbed Harry on his upcoming trip, despite the younger royal's request to catch up. Oh, oh, oh. William's such a baddie. Oh, yeah, William. Oh, no. How could you, William? How could you do that to poor Harry, your poor brother, who's done absolutely nothing wrong to you ever? Not even once has he ever slighted you whatsoever. And what have you done except push him onto, you know, dog bowls and break his necklace? What can I say, William? Unbelievable behavior, William. Unbelievable. What can I say? What else can I say? By the way, Evelyn, 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 spiritual clearing, spiritual clearing, Evelyn. I've wrote you another email today, so just have a look in your spam folder or what, what's going on. Need some details from you, Evelyn. Uh, regarding that, um, who else? So I'm just having a look at some notes. Sarah, I just found your email. I wrote you an email before. I just found your message through Buy Me A Coffee. It didn't come through as an email, so there you go. All right, it was it was hiding inside, but I've got all your details, so I'll, I'll get cracking on that tonight. Everyone else I have worked on, and I've got some feedback, although what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave some... I'm going to just hit, you know, go over this a few more times, and then I'll... Uh, I'm gonna make you know put some more energy your way, and then I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when I'm, when it's sort of I'm happy that there's nothing kind of else there or what the story is. And it is interesting because with these spiritual clearings, what's come what's come kind of apparent to me, yeah, a lot of people had issues for sure, but sometimes when I'm connecting to people's energies, there's a, like spiritual issues can come from inside and they can come from outside. So outside could be you know black magic, blah, blah, blah. could be you know evil spirits around the way, all the rest of it. But sometimes our biggest problems come from within and that's our own egos right our own egos are in in don't get me started but uh the the kundalini energy is the energy of our ego put it that way that's actually the truth of the matter and that kundalini energy is it's like a an entity that lives inside of us separate to us so our ego isn't us but it can dominate us like a spirit would dominate us you know possibly dominate us so this is kind of the problem is uh people can go off the rails or you know, get get themselves into a lot of difficulties because of like a lot of negative energy that they've generated on them on themselves through their own behavior or negative coping mechanisms or, or just the fact that there's been no sort of traction in their spiritual life. They're not developing sp like stunted spiritual development, and that's when that ego really can sort of take over us from the inside out. And that's you know sometimes the biggest oppression we can face is from our own selves from inside not outside. So just be mindful of that. Be mindful of that. All right. Now, uh, thank you. Thank you, Judith here. Uh, you always make me smile. Bless you. Thank you, Judith. You're amazing. Appreciate it. Uh, big support of the show, Judith is. Uh, I really appreciate it. So, all right. Um, so that said, be just, uh, I'm going to start, you know, letting people know. Now, there are some more slots available. Link is in the description on Buy Me A Coffee. Uh, for some spiritual clearings. Of course, I'll have to email you and you're going to get back to me with your details. So uh, that is forthcoming. So those are, I'm opening up those today. I was meant to open them up yesterday, but today, today they're going to be opened up and uh, I'm going to give everyone a once over uh, on the, for the last week before I begin the new ones. Another, another once over. So just to make sure, and then I'll send you some feedback. All right. For the people that have already taken one and then we'll get, I've had so many requests for these. It's unreal. So Let's get into today's topic. Okay, so did does Harry want to see William? Let's get into it. A lot to say. It's like it's sort of housekeeping, really, isn't it? Housekeeping today. I know there's a massive orb yesterday. People were commenting on in the comments. Uh, the times time stamps were put into the comments. Massive orbage going on here. Uh, yellow, bright, white orb uh, coming. Never seen an orb here or anywhere that was electrified. That was a bright yellow flame. There you go. No problems with me. It was a uh, orbage, a lord of the orbage. What can I say? A lord of the orbage. Yeah, some say, some people say the idea is that you want to sort of increase your spiritual energy so much that those 
whatever those orbs are, I mean, you might even be attracting good, good, good forces, but you know, at that point, but you know, nothing's really going to touch you. So we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Um, cards are hot. Saw a black orb on someone last night. The cards aren't hot yet. What am I talking about? I'm just getting excited. I saw a black orb come through when I was doing a spiritual cleaning on someone last night. A black orb, a dirty black orb coming in. Uh, yeah, what can I say? What can I say except it's uh, real? This person did say that they were having issues, and uh, I can see why now. So I just want to make sure it doesn't come through again. You do it You do it until nothing comes through, and it's just all quiet in the rest in front. Does William, uh, does Harry want to see William? That's the question we're asking. So much to say about these clearings and everything. Cards are hot. Uh, all right. Too much to say. Eight of coins. Well, he's working on something. Four of swords. Two of swords. Yeah, he doesn't want to. Two of cups. Queen of wands. Oh, okay. Harry boy. He doesn't want to see William, but there is someone he wants to see. There is someone in the Wales clan he wants to catch up with. And that, you, do you want to know who that is? She's represented by the Queen of Wands. If you've been watching Famous Fortunes enough, then you will know that the Queen of Wands is the Princess of Wales, Catherine. So he doesn't want to see William, but he wants to see Catherine. What can I say to that? Harry, you dirty dog. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look at this. Nope. Denied. Absolutely. Look at the propaganda that we read. Where's this propaganda? Bring it, bring it back. Harry has... He's kept in regular contact with his father. So lovely of him. Uh, and snubbed Harry, apparently. Well, Harry doesn't doesn't look like Harry wants to see... He, he's working on seeing Catherine, but he doesn't want to see William. So, Harry wants to see Catherine, but not William. Can you actually believe it? Harry does not want to see William, but wants to see Catherine. <laughs> you can't make it up. Unbelievable. So that's the gist of today's show. Why? 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 Why does he want to catch up with Catherine and not William? What's the go, Harry? Why are you doing this? Okay, so our well, question is, now we know sort of the ball game here. We're, now we're going to ask, does William want to see Harry? Because Harry doesn't want to see William. I'm not going to buy into this Goebbels type, Goebbels level propaganda. I'm not going to buy into that. Goebbels, is that how I'm saying it right? In any event, who wrote this? Who wrote this stuff? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm sure Harry's just dying to see William, isn't he? He's just so dying to get in front of William and, hey, William, how's it going? Did you read my book about your hairline? My petty remarks about your hairline. Did you read that book, William? Did you read it? I'll send you a signed copy, William. Just don't throw me over the dog bowl again, William. I've had to have my necklace repaired, William. I can only imagine how that would go. Fist through Harry's face, I would imagine. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Does William want to see Harry? Unbelievable. I can't make this, up. this stuff up. William, do you want to see Harry? Cards are hot. Three of wandage, six of wandage... El Diablo, oh, of course, uh, Six of Coins, and the Justice card, Queen of Swords. Okay, so, where is the the jar that we donate to as the swear jar? Now, I've got a $2, so I'm going to replace that to keep track. Place it with a, take a dollar out, $2 in, so we know where we're at. Need to get some coins now, we're on our last coin right now. What are we at? We're in May, 4th of May today, all right. So we need to get some more coins. That's unusually quick. This year. We're getting quite a bumper crop of coins again this year. We never fail on this show. Uh, all right. Now, what's the story with William wanting to see Harry? It's big time. There's someone... Now, there's someone William's concerned about when it comes to Harry. And that's represented by the Queen of Swords and the Devil card. I wonder who that could be who's on William's mind. Because, you know, what the concern is that if he catches up with Harry, then it's like a win. If like In some ways, it's like it can be used. The information can be passed on to this person represented by the Queen of Swords and the Devil card. And it can be used to sort of have it over them, if you like. It's kind of like giving Harry and, you know, his uh, 
whoever this is represented by the queen of swords and the devil to sort of it bolster their you know like goss it's like feeding them gossip feeding them information so i would say william is very very hesitant to meet harry because he knows that whatever information or whatever is said is going to get straight back to someone represented by these cards now i don't know who that could be who could be so close to harry that would take this information represented by the queen of swords and the devil unbelievable never seen that before in famous fortunes in my whole life what can i say all right so fair enough so he's, he has some reservations let's just say william has, has some reservations uh, obviously he doesn't want another dog bowl episode to make the newspaper uh he, he doesn't want to break another le a necklace so i understand all right now, why on earth does Harry want to catch up with Catherine? Very strange cards. I can't believe it came out straight away. What's going on here? Let's, let's have a look. Why is Harry so keen to meet Catherine? Why is Harry so keen to meet Catherine? You know, I'll say this, you know, when I was really at my sort of the depth of struggling with this individual that's been targeting me, that's gotten a lot better, by the way, and I'm going to explain something to you in a minute. I, I, I kind of decided, how am I going to get myself out of this situation of having persistent attacks on me? You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of over and over again. So what I decided was like, I'm going to help people now. I'm going to help other people with this situation. And, and that could be some good, let's say good karma on my behalf, right? To help other people and... And, uh, and I've got some emails to read to you. You wouldn't even believe. People are yeah, seeing in dreams who's making, who's sending spirits on them and all the rest of it. You know, who's making witchcraft on them. Uh, melting spirits, you know, clearing out spirits. I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, I really did it. So I'm like, if I can help other people get rid of these horrible things in their life that they may not know is there and, you know, or they, or they do know it's there and they're just desperate for help. I mean, someone sent me an email this there. Someone they, someone they know had a problem for 30 years until they performed the invocation. And it's kind of completely gone. That's unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, that's unbelievable. So I, I kind of think this is, a, this is a, why am I telling you this? Because, you know, doing good for other people is actually so beneficial for everyone. So think about it. It's like you're doing good for people. You're doing good for yourself as well. Think about that for a minute. It's unbelievable. It's like, it's, it is, it is, it's actually easy to do good. Uh, it is, it is even, you know, feeding feeding an animal that needs a meal, right? Or, you know, or, or you know, feeding people that need a meal. Or, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it can, even in small ways. But it can, it can bring such good to the world and good to us. So it's a, there's a positive, powerful message here. That's what I'm trying to say. And I, I really think that, you know, in some ways, it's sort of when I really started to dig myself out of this situation was when I started to sort of make the intention to do that. Things started to change a little bit. But there's another story for another time. Things have gotten a lot better in that department uh, since that time, but a lot had to change. So, cards are hot. Let's have a look. Why does Harry want to see Catherine? The Queen of Cups, he loves her. He's in love. He's got feelings. What can I say? The Strength card. Uh, you know, weird. Now, the Queen of Swords. Uh, we're getting ulterior motives here. Five of Coins the Wheel of Fortune, and the Six of Swords. So he wants to travel to go and see her, obviously. Uh, and sick, that's what the tarot is saying. He's, he wants to go over there and see Catherine particularly. However, this is a tale of two women. This is really, he's being sent by Megan, right? We just saw a Queen of Swords and a Devil card previous spread. We didn't get a Devil card here, but we almost should have. It's, okay, so Harry's got feelings for her. But his wife wants to gain power over Catherine, so he's going to use Harry somehow to do that. And it's kind of like a... Is this like a victim card? I'm a victim. Go, you know, be a victim to Catherine because you're going to play on her heartstrings or something like that. I'm not quite sure what's the story uh, here, but it's... Is that what it is? Or is this play on the fact that she's not quite... what You know, she's not a... She's, she's a bit ill at the moment. You know, is that what it is? Play on that fact. Very dark stuff. I hope not. The Wheel of Fortune, yeah, it's like circumstances have sort of could have turned in our favor. It's the right time to go and, you know, gain gain some power here. Level up a little bit. Level up. Level up. Yeah, it's a bit disturbing. 
Uh, what, what was disturbing was there was a woman uh, who said she was from South Africa yesterday in the comments, and she said, you're 100% correct, we don't play this side, and the more sacrifices you make, let's say, preferably your nearest or dearest, the more power, the more what you have, the downside is these dark spirits need to be fed, it's unbelievable, to sustain your power and riches. The dark practice differs from country to country. It certainly does, but it's always the same concept feed the dark side and you know we're, we're, yeah, i mean it can happen in so many ways you know even a lot of gossiping or a lot of uh you know complaining or sort of you know backbiting other people it's just feeding the dark side in a way if you think about it all right what are we looking at here we're looking at i see this as a uh, harry's got feelings for Catherine. number one but there's also this game that's being played with Harry's wife to sort of get in there and and this is a time to you know get a like what do they call it the the CIA they have these people con not controllers handlers it's like go and handle her you know go and sort of get a grip on her with the strength card it's time to get a grip on her and it's time to sort of augment uh your place in in that okay now does william know about that let's let's ask very strange cards we're seeing today folks does william know about that Cards are hot. Does William know of Harry's plan? Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. Strange. Prince of Swords, the World, King of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Strength. Whoopsie days. We just drop some cards. So drop it like it's hot. All right. Is Harry wanting to reach out to Catherine? Is 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 William aware of this? What are we seeing here? What are we seeing? Is William aware of Harry wanting to come in? It's like coming in fast here to it, like a tay. William is considering that someone's going to come in and attack the family, his family. So he's on the defensive, is he? He's on the lookout. He's he's. He's aware of it. I would say he's very much conscious that Harry's going to come in and be a negative force on the family. So that's how I would say. That's how I would say this. Yeah, that's how I'm going to say this. Now, does Catherine want to see Harry? Ooh, it's a spicy question, this one. Spicy little meatball. Talk about spicy. I'm gonna, I, made, I made a pasta tonight, a penny pasta with one of I make. I haven't eaten it yet, but I'm, you know beef or whatever i'm gonna put some chili in it something different tonight yeah it's talking about spicy yeah i'm gonna make it spicy let's do it i'm not the biggest spicy person out there um i mean i don't mind white pepper like i'm a bit of a white pepper guy let's say salt good salt and white pepper on eggs it's next level um it's an ayurvedic thing some people do better with white pepper than black pepper uh, but that's you know another story for another time all right <laughs> Another story for another time, folks. But I'm going to have some chili tonight on my pasta. There you go, folks. And basil, too, if I've got some in the fridge. I'm going to do that as well. So I'm getting hungry, as you can tell. Okay, all this reading. Well, you know what makes me hungry? Doing the clearings. Wow, I've never eaten so much. Late night snacks, bang, liter of milk. All this, all this, <laughs> working these things over. <laughs> Takes energy, I tell you what. You've got to do it late at night where you're kind of going to see the orbs coming through or whatever. And you just got to, like, you hit them and then you just get so hungry. I've never been as hungry in my life uh, doing all these clearings. It's like you got to fuel the machine to get up there and get them. If I do it during the day, I'm not going to be able to see really the orbs coming in as much. 
So what can I say? The orbs, it's easier to see the orbs. And also too, when you do it in things at night like this, the airwaves are clearer, so you can pick up energies easier. Okay, so does Catherine want to see Harry? Cards are hot. Eating like a horse. Okay, the chariot. Two of swords, no. Big fat, no. Catherine says no. Uh, ace, uh, excuse me, page of wands, ace of wands, page of pentacles. So she wants to see Archie and Lilibet. But in terms of Harry, no thanks. Absolutely no from Catherine. So it's William and Catherine say no now. William and Catherine say no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I've never seen a stronger response than, than that response. Absolutely strong. Why not? I wonder why. I wonder why. Do we even have to ask? I mean, he's acting like a... He's acting like, I don't want to swear. I don't want to swear in a foreign language. I don't want to even do that. I was, I was tempted. I was tempted to say something. I swear in a foreign language. I'm not going to do that on the show because maybe if you're a foreign language speaker, uh, you will understand what I'm saying and then you'll probably laugh. That's probably what you'll, that's probably what'll happen. You'll probably laugh. Right. Um, so, what have we learned today? William doesn't want to see Harry. Catherine doesn't want to see Harry. Harry wants to see Catherine, but not William. And... Why isn't Megan coming to the UK? Let's throw some cards down. Is she coming in secret even? Let's okay, let's go. Is is is, Kat, is Megan coming to the UK? Cards are hot. Four of cups, five of coinage, page of swords, eight of wands, the emperor. Underlying energy, the seven of wands. Um, yeah, she may travel. She may travel. Now, that doesn't mean she's going to see anyone. Mm. Not welcome? I mean, that's a bit of a card of not being welcome here with the five of coins. Um, interesting. Okay, so there's that. Now, is... Megan going to travel to the UK and see and attempt to see anyone in the family? Let's ask that. Hmm, interesting cards. That wasn't a total no. Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands, King of Pentacles, King of William, King of Wands, the Chariot, Page of Swords. I wonder if she's going to be traveling in the background here. Uh, it's interesting. I'm not quite sure what these cards are saying, but now we're seeing William's archetype. We're seeing this travel energy again. We saw the Eight of Wands, now we're seeing the Chariot. Uh, it makes one wonder. It certainly makes one wonder. Now, I just thought I threw these cards out of interest. I think, uh, you know, you never know. She could be going in tow with Harry, but sort of hanging in the background. It's possible. I'm not, say I'm not calling this as a total no, I'll say that. But uh, in any event, I am going to love you and leave you all. And I'm going to go eat some pasta. And I'll see you in the comments.